Genesis 25, 29. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field. He was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his, na was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. Not really. And what point shall this birthright do to me? There was no other food. Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sweared unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Now get that. He sold it. Now later on we're going to see Esau say, Well, he, you know, he swindled me. You know, he didn't. But then Jacob gave Esau bread. Ooh, he gave him bread. A pot of lentils, beans. And did he and drank, rose up, went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So now, remember that story. Look at 32. On the point of dying now. 27. 18 and 19. He came unto his father and he said, this is Jacob, my father. He said, here I am. Who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. You are who? First what? All right. You, the, the birthright was sold to you. But you're not Esau. Look at chapter 29. 21. And Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled that I may go unto. He worked seven years for Rachel. And Laban gathered together all the men in the place and made a feast. And it came to pass in evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought him to her brought her to him, and he went unto her. And Laban gave his daughter Leah Zephyr, his maid for her handmaid. It came to pass in the morning, and behold, it was Leah, and he said, Laban, what is this thou hast done to me? Did I not serve thee for Rachel? Wherefore hast thou beguiled me? Important word. And Laban said, it, it, it must not be so in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. So, Go back to chapter 25, 32, all right, chapter 25, 32, the birthright is sold. Chapter 27. 18 and 19, he, he he comes up to his father, he says, I am Esau, thy firstborn. No, you're not. So now when he comes up to Laban, he, hey, listen, I worked seven years for Rachel. Rachel's the younger. He gets Leah, the firstborn. And what we're going to look at in this study is Jacob's harvesting. We're going to look at seeds that Jacob plants early in his life. And later on those seeds are going to grow. They're going to germinate. And we're going to see the fruit. The harvest. Jacob sold. Jacob had Esau sell his birthright. Was it right? Was it wrong? It was wrong. Jacob goes before his father and lies to him. I am Esau, thy firstborn. So when Jacob gets all excited, the moment's here, I'm going to get Rachel. And he ends up with Leah, the firstborn. Why did I get her? Did the words of, who art thou, my son? I am Esau, thy firstborn. I hope those words came into play, Jacob. Chapter 27, verse 20. 
And Isaac said to his son, How is it that I found it so quickly, my son? Well, he didn't find it. Mom did. Rebecca. He said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. Now, listen, this teaches you right now. Just because someone said, God told me, I got it from God. It came from Jacob's lying, and they could be lying. So God gave it to me. Chapter 33. Let's watch God work in Jacob's life, verse 5. Esau meets Jacob years and years after. He looked up his eyes and saw the women and children that would have been Rachel, Leah, Zephyr, and Bilhah, and the, 12, well, the 11 sons. Rachel would have been pregnant at the time. Who are, the, who are those with thee? He said, the children which God has given thy servant. Oh, well, last time you were asked, Mom gave you the meal, but you said God gave it to me. Now, you've been afraid of Esau. Esau is going to kill you and all that. Esau said, okay, who's, who's those mothers, Jacob? I see four mothers, Jacob. Who are they? God gave them to me. What did you tell your father, Jacob? God gave me the venison. No, Mom did. Jacob lied to his father. God gave it to me. And look how God shows up later on in Jacob's life. Chapter 27 again. We're going to be running back and forth. Chapter 27, verse 18 and 19. And he came to his father and said, My father, he said, Here I am. He said, Who art thou, my son? And Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou hast bidden me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that, my, that thy soul may bless me. Okay? Chapter 32. 27, 28. And he said unto him, this is the angel, he's wrestling with God, what is thy name? He said, Jacob, what did you tell your father? Who art thou, my son? I'm Esau. God says, Jacob, who are you? He says, I'm Jacob. Okay, really? And he said, thy, thy name shall no more be, no more Jacob, but Israel. You want to be another name, Jacob? I'll give you a new name, which is a good name. Israel still, the name of Israel still today, 2022. And it will be forever. But Jacob said to his father Isaac, I'm Esau. God says, who art thou? Jacob. What happened, Jacob? What happened? Have you ever done anything in your life wrong? And later on something comes up and that wrong comes into your life. And it's always like they say deja vu. And you ever get that Holy Spirit tickling your ear, remember? There are times in my life I go all the way back to Denison Avenue from, from, from birth to a teenager. I grew up in Denison Avenue and there are things in my life I, and I go all the way back to Denison Avenue like, oh. I go all the way back to Whiteman Street where I grew up from a teenager to high school to, to I went and got out on my own life. And something will come up in my life I'll go all the way back to Whiteman Street. I will go all the way back to, to the early years of my life and God say, okay, how's that? I look at my children and I see them do things I've done and God says, okay, get in your little time machine, let's go. Now, anything before April 1987 has already been watched 
That's when I got saved. Anything after that, I say, Lord, if I didn't put it under the blood, I put it under the blood now. Cleanse me of that. Like I said, have you ever had in your life that God takes you on a, that little time machine ride? Like, huh? Remember? You know, there, there are people, there will be people, and you had a fancy free zipper trouble. And it could be months, and it could be years. And it could be years that one day, you know, you're sitting in your house and you hear, hey, who, who is it? Hey, it's Sally. Hi, Sally, what can I do for you? Are you such and such? Yeah. Hi, Dad. You remember this woman you slept with? <laughs> Sowing and reaping? In the late 1990s, and today, I was diagnosed with uh, COPD, emphysema. And in 1990s, the, the lung doctor called my wife and I into his office and told me I had only months to live. I was dying. That's, that's late 1990s. It's 2022. God's mercy and grace. Now I could say... Well, it was this, and it was, no, no. All the foolish years I smoked cigarettes and pipes. All the times I worked for the submarine builder, and I didn't wear a mask that I was supposed to be wearing. And a respirator. It was too uncomfortable. You see, things that I did in my early life, things that you will do in your early life, it may come back to get you. Now, if you ever want to thank God for something, you just you, nothing's happening at that moment of the day. And you say, you know what, I just want to thank God. Well, what can I thank God for? That he does not give us, us, a full crop of what we sow. Because he doesn't. His mercy and grace is we don't get the full crop. Chapter 27. Chapter 2732. And Isaac's father said to him, Who art thou? He said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. Okay. 30. 27, 32. All right, 3210. Chapter 3210. He says, I'm not worthy of the I am I am not worthy at least of all thy mercy, of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff I pass over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. Jacob has Learn some lessons in life. And the problem is, okay, you know, hey, I got saved. I quit smoking. I quit alcohol. I quit for whatever it is. I got saved. I gave it up. I don't have to pay for that no longer. No, 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 no. That's consequences. That's evil. Evil is a consequence. Now, you may have a time that you were in a drunken fit or whatever it is, and you chopped off your left arm. And they were unable to save it, and you got it stuff. It's your fault. You did it. And after that, you get you meet Jesus, and you get saved, and glory to God, your name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The angels rejoice in heaven, and you look at your arm. Okay, I can get my arm back now, right? No. I'm saved now. My marriage is going to be fixed. No. You mistreat your spouse. Your wife or your husband. 
You're going to have a harvest somehow, somewhere. And if you've got a loving, forgiving spouse, you better thank God. Chapter 27. 27. And he came near and kissed him as he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him. It says, See, the smell of my son is the smell of the field. Well, he's wearing Esau's clothes, which the Lord has given me. Which the Lord has blessed, excuse me. Have you been hanging out with the cows and the sheep and the horses and been out in the barn and been out in the stables and all that? You're going to smell like them. Okay? Jacob did it. Jacob is wearing the clothes of Esau. Jacob was a plain man. He was in the kitchen. Chapter 30. See, how does he reap this one? Chapter 30, verse 16. Now, Reuben found the mandrakes, and Rachel and Leah make a little deal here. Rachel gets the mandates, and Leah gets Jacob. Okay? Look at verse 16, chapter 30. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening. And Leah went out to meet him. What do you think he smelled like? He's out in the fields. He's out in the harvest. He's out in the, with the cows and the sheep. He smells exactly what Esau's clothes smelled like. You know, I wonder if you've ever... It's almost like Esau's shirt I was wearing that day. And there may be some seeds that you planted. And, and here, here's the harvest. And you might not even know. And yet the Bible records for us to learn. Jacob had the clothes of Esau. He smelt like the field. Jacob comes to Leah, the wife he didn't love, and he smelt like his brother. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. 27, 27. What have you done? Years passed. It may come back. Maybe even the present time right now. Maybe, maybe right now this message you're here. Oh yeah, that was from... Oh, my arm hurts. Oh, every time the bad weather, oh, my arm hurts. And you may be something stupid you did. It may have been even the career you had. There are people later in life, they have bad eyes because they read so many books under a flashlight, under a candle. And there are people with health ailments because of their job, because of where they live. It's a possibility, we, we never found out, but there's a possibility my wife Lisa had breast cancer because the town that she grew up in Years and years ago, it used to be textile, textile mills. And the soil of that city, plus a nuclear power plant, that's, that may have been the way she got cancer. But 2727, he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. 32. Got the 32, 26. He said, let me go for the day hearkens. He said, I will not let you go except thou bless me. 
Verse 24. And Jacob was left alone and wrestled with the man with him until the break in the day. Remember his father said, Mmm, I smell the cows. I smell the sheep. I smell the dirt. Boy, has God blessed you. Esau. Have you ever taken credit for someone else's work? At work or something? Maybe your brothers or sisters? Somebody else did it. You took the praise and glory. And I can't answer you what kind of crops are going to come up. What the, what, but I know one thing. I know one thing. If I go out in my well, not in Florida, but if I go out and put tomato seeds in the ground, I'm not going to get gold. I'm not going to get silver. I'm going to get tomato seeds. If I go out and plant cucumbers, I'm going to get cucumbers. If you go out there and, and seed the ground with deception, don't be surprised as deception comes back into your garden. If you sow the seeds of sexual immorality, And the doctor says later on in life, you got a VD. Don't blame him or her. Even though you do blame him or her, you're the one. All right, 27 again. Going back and forth. A lot has happened in one chapter, hasn't it? This one chapter comes back and haunts. Sowing and reaping, 27-35. He said, thy brother came subtility. You know, slit. And has taken away thy blessing. Well, he didn't do it... You wanted them beans. And Jacob put the price on the table. I think if you would have searched the house, I think if you would have gone to Rebecca, I think you would, I think you would have been able to find something. I, I don't know. Maybe there was no food. I could be wrong. But there's that statement. 31. 1. So Jacob is charged with deceit. In a roundabout way, he did. I had a brother who died. I have a sister. And they came to me and said, Listen, I'm about to die. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I got something in the house. I'm not going to say, Oh, you know. He heard the words of Laban's son saying, Jacob has taken away our... What? That's the same thing that Esau said about Jacob. But here, the sons are lying. Because Jacob is perfectly proper with the contract he made with Laban. But what Jacob did to his brother Esau in deception, the son of his father, the sons of his father-in-law, got that? The son of Jacob's father said, Jacob subtilled me. The sons of Jacob's father-in-law said, he's stealing from us. Dad, he stole my blessing. Dad, he stole our sheep, cows, and... And you may have come in your life. Oh, I've been falsely charged. I, I didn't do it. And I had people, you know, when I had the jail ministry, oh, I was free. I mean, I'm not supposed to be in there. I said, you know what? I said, let me ask you something. 
And I said, this goes for me too. If we were to check your past, and my past, I had one time where the police told me, you're going to jail. And the circumstances that was going on got me out. Had them circumstances never been in place, I've gone to jail. You know what the Lord did to me? I didn't go to jail. I was supposed to. He gave me six years of prison ministry. Where men got saved, men grew, and men got rid of their perverted Bibles, got a King James Bible. That's good sowing. Sometimes you're going to get good sewing. I mean, you work 40 hours a week. You come Friday, you get that check. Boss, I got an extra $100 in my paycheck. I know you did a good job this week. That's a bonus. Wow. Come Friday, you look at your check. Boss, I'm almost... Almost two hundred dollars short of my check this week. Uh, calculate all the times you went to water cooler. You showed up late. You weren't there. You didn't have that done for the meeting. You didn't do this job. You were over there. You were talking with them. It took you forever. Some of our our sewing may not be here in Europe. It may be at the judgment seat of Christ. He said, well, that evil, wicked man, he got away with all the stuff. Oh, look, everything got away with it. He died. He, yeah, but he's going to face God to judge one day. I always tell people, they, they get to a point that they don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, God knows where Jimmy Hoffa is and what happened. God knows, I can't ever say, eliminating Earnhardt, the woman with the plane. God knows exactly what happened. God knows what happened to JFK. God knows what's the truth with Donald Trump. God knows about the royal family. God knows about you and me. And there are things that happen in our life. Jacob could be saying, well, what are you blaming me for? Seems to be your trait, Jacob. 27. Forty-four. This is one chapter. This is Jacob that Rebecca made a meal for her husband to deceive her husband. At any point in time, Jacob sure went to Isaac and said, Mom's got this plan here. And, and he, Dad, you and I need to talk about Esau and that birthright. Because let me tell you, without Rebecca's help, God knew exactly that Esau sold that birthright. God would not have allowed Esau to get that birthright. Had Rebecca not stepped in, how do you know that God would not have killed Esau looking for the venison? And if that's the case, Esau became Eden, Eden became in land, Edom became an enemy of Israel. I forget which is one of the prophets writes a whole book against Edom. How they mistreated Judah when Babylon came. Now maybe, I'm saying maybe because I don't know, but maybe if Rebecca didn't step in, and maybe if Jacob would have told Isaac what happened with the beans, Like Sarah is saying, here's my handmaid. In 2744, 
and tarry with him a few days until thy brother's fear return away. So Rebecca, who started all this hardship, finds out that, that Esau wants to kill Jacob. Isaac loved Esau and Rebecca loved Jacob. So you go to Laban, my brother, for a few days. See that? A few days. She's lost reality because it takes a few days to get there. But Genesis 31. Now this is her sowing and reaping. 3141. Thus have I been twenty years in thy house. A few days, Rebecca turned into twenty years. And Jacob said, Well, God's gonna God's gonna curse me if dad finds out I'm I'm deceiving him. Rebecca says, Let the curse be upon me. Rebecca is dead when Jacob comes back home. She ain't there no more. God kills her during that 20 years. She never got to see her boy again. The only boy she got to see was Esau, the one she didn't love. Jacob, I mean, excuse me, Isaac loved Esau and Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob loved Rachel, and Jacob hated Leah. And Leah, who he hated, had the most children. Leah, who he hated, has the line of Jesus Christ, Jacob. I mean, uh, Judah. Twenty-nine. Eighteen. Hope it's eighteen. I'm going to read sixteen just in case. And Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah. And the name of the younger was Rachel. Now we're going to read eighteen. I'm not sure if I wrote sixteen or eighteen. Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve thee seven years for Rachel, thy younger daughter. Okay? Chapter twenty-five. 23. And the Lord said unto two nations are in thy womb. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So there's life in the womb. The one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So the cause of Rachel and Leah was the same cause that Jacob had with his brother. God knew all was going to happen to Jacob when he was in just in the womb of Rebecca. God already knows. 29. But we have a free will. God already knows what's going to happen. But we have a free will. God knows that in our life we're going to have an A, B, maybe a C. And we're allowed to choose A, B, or C, but God already knows we're going to choose B. Even though A was right. I'm not Calvin. God knew April 24th, 1987, Saturday afternoon, I could have said yes to Jesus, or I could have said no to Jesus. I said yes. On April 25th, Sunday afternoon, God would say, you can tell your dad about Jesus, or you may not tell him about Jesus. I told my dad about Jesus. I don't know how many years it's been since 1987. But I have chosen a path that God knew. 
I've been a street preacher. I've been a Sunday school teacher. I've been in prison ministry. I witnessed all kinds of people. I got all kinds. I got this internet ministry. Because I chosen path. Now I didn't choose right all the time. There are some things in my life that I know for sure I shouldn't have done that. And I did. I have things in my life. I don't know. Lord, did I do right? Did I do wrong? Now, if the right way is letter C, and I want to go A, God's not going to force me to do C. Now, He's going to do all He can. C, 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 C. I may go A or I may go B. He ain't going to force me. He knew what Jacob was going to do all along, but he didn't force Jacob. 29, 22, or 23. And Laban gathered together all the men the, and made a feast. 49, 22. Got that? You made a feast. 25. 25, 29. Watch this one. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field and was faint. And you know the story. He says, give me some, give me some food. Jacob said, I'll pay for it. Jacob worked seven years for one woman. And then he gets a meal. Also gets the wrong woman. But maybe Jacob wasn't supposed to get that birthright. Maybe God wasn't going to honor that deal. I could be wrong. All right, we're not done. 27. 27. 27, 17. She gave him savory meat and bread, which she had prepared in the hand of her son Jacob. There's another meal. That meal before was Jacob. He gets the birthright. So, this meal is by his mother, deceives his father, and he gets the birthright blessing. The first meal we looked at is, he worked seven years for one woman, then he gets a meal, you know, the, the, the marriage reception, and he gets the firstborn, not the younger. What do you do with that one? Twenty-seven, eighteen. There it is. My father. He said, "Here I am. Now my son." I. Esau, the firstborn, I had done according to his bade me. No, oh, I mean that's that was from now that, that was that was early. Sorry about that. Twenty nine, last one. Last twenty five. Twenty nine, twenty five. It came to pass in that in the morning, behold it was Leah. He said to Laban, What is that has done to me? Did I not serve thee? With thee for Rachel, wherefore hast thou beguiled me? Laban says, "Not it must not be done so in our country to give thee younger before the firstborn." All right, last time, twenty-seven, thirty-five, and he said, "Thy brother came subtility." Has taken away thy blessing. Jacob charges Laban with the same charge that Isaac, his father, charged him for his elder brother. It's 
So Jacob got the same charge. And he got the same position, the elder child. Now I don't know of any time in Jacob's life if he ever... You know, that was, that felt like deja vu. Maybe your deja vu is... <laughs> maybe God's saying, remember... Maybe it's that moment in time that the sickle is in your hand. Oh, look at the seeds. Right there. I, I, one time, my wife Tracy, I was sitting in the living room. And she come in, and she had tomatoes. She had a shirt pulled up, and there were tomatoes in her thing. She was like, oh, I said, when did you plant those? She says, I didn't. The neighbors get no. She had made a compost pile. And evidently she had thrown some tomatoes into that compost pile. And she went out to that compost pile after a while. It must have been a while. And when she went to go add to it, do whatever she wanted to do to it, she walked over there and there were tomato plants and they had tomatoes on them. She didn't even know. She planted seeds. And she she and I got a good benefit. We got tomatoes. But with every garden that we, we grow, the fruits and stuff we want, there are also weeds and briars and thorns and poison ivy that God said was the curse. And I think before we go falsely charging people, before we falsely, oh, oh, why it happened to me? I think we may be, and I, speaking to me, maybe we need to sit down and say, Lord, is this a harvest of mine? And thank God, Lord God, thank you, Lord, thank you. I'm not going to get the full evil of that harvest. Because some of the harvest is evil. Some of the harvest is good. 40 hour work week, get a 40 hour paycheck, that's good. You don't listen to the standards that they set for COVID, the mask and the shots and all that, and then you can't work for a week because you got COVID? These people, whether the shots are right, whether wearing the mask is right or not, God told us to obey the government. And whatever you get, whatever you feel, whatever right you have, if you disobey the government, you are sowing a crop of weeds. And maybe poison ivy, whatever. And that crop don't come in at the end of the day. It takes a while. So we need to realize that we have harvest time coming and it may be great seed and we may have a good harvest in heaven of gold, silver, precious stone the right of an inheritance. But we also may be getting a harvest of weeds and thorns and thistles and junk and poison ivy. And we may have wood, hay, and stubble. 
And we can't blame God. And we can't blame the devil. And we can't blame our wife. We can't blame our children. We can't blame our job. We can't blame the government. You had a time, I had a time in my life that we came to a path with A, B, C, uh, however it was. And if you chose the right path, you got the right harvest. Or the harvest may come later. If you went the wrong path, there's a wicked and evil way, an evil consequence, harvest. And thank God we're not, you, we do not get the full benefit. But we may get something. If you steal a cookie from the kitchen, mom told you no cookies. Don't get upset at dad when your hiney is red or should be red. When you were obstructing your mom and being terrible in the grocery store, and when you get home, she puts your nose in the corner, and you don't get your video game to tomorrow, it ain't mom's fault. And when you sit in your room and dad come home and he walks in your room and he's like, and he hands you something. What's this? You're just a good boy. I love you. I wanted to give you something. Oh, thanks, dad. 